7.30, February 11th, 7.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, just pulled up my E-mini S&P charts. Looked and see if there's anything good this morning. I'm going to pull up some news. See when the news is going to be here. Um, we have unemployment claims at 6.30, so no news today. And uh, I'll get back on as soon as I see something good. So I'm in here, 61.51. And uh, let's see if we can hit our two-point target. So we're approaching our two-point target here. Um, see if it hits it. Filled. Uh, just made two points on the E-mini S&P 500. I'm only trading with one contract, so I'm trading with $500. Um, so that was a $100 profit. get back on when I see something else I love now that you know I've, I'm with two points I'm not going to do anything unless I absolutely love it uh, might as well just be picky you have the luxury now that you're up on your first trade to be picky and choosy and I'm going to look for next trade to to not just get two points I'm going to get in and see if I can get more than two points out of it just um, trail it, just trail stop it and see what I can get out of the market. Looks like we got a little bit of market indecision right now. It looks like it wants to go down, um, but not loving it. We're getting a fresh cross here. Swear in a, it looks like we're getting a fresh cross here, but we've been some upside pressure, which um, that happens when one contradicts the other you can trade but me personally I'm a little bit more conservative and I don't and I don't risk it if one indicator saying one thing and the other saying another but it does look like it wants to go down to me um, again but we'll see what happens So I'm got in here, uh, 60, 50, I'm in a buy, and I'll let you know how it pans out. Um, I flattened out with a tick, um, tick of profit. I got in that trade, didn't really, I liked it at first, but for some reason it was having a hard time breaking this right here. If it breaks it, oh well, if not, you know, at least I didn't lose any money. Another twelve bucks, twelve fifty, into the uh, account, and let's see what the market gives us now. See, there's that push up we were looking for earlier. Um, we missed it. Oh well. Uh, another trade will line up. If not, you know, I'll just shut it down for two and two points, two point two five points. Uh, just wait a few more minutes and see if I love anything, and if not, I'll shut it down. It's just staying in this um, three-point range. Um, it's just range-bound garbage. It's you know not too bad to uh, make 20%, well, 22.5% on the money you're trading on a three-point range. Uh, sideways consolidation, uh, where the money's really made is when it's when the market finds a trend, and we get in on a hindsight trade and finds a trend and it goes for quite a few points so we can trail stop it and and see so I'm gonna shut it down with two and a tick and be happy with that and good luck trading next time so I got in one more trade um, here 10 60 50 uh, buy long um, liked what it did 
and let's see what it does. Slide my stop up to a, a point loss, so if it turns against me, um, I only lose a point. So let's see uh, how this finishes out. I'm going to see how much I can get out of it. I at least want to hit 64. So I want to at least get it to up to 64. Right now it's up two and a half points. Um, if it doesn't hit 64, it's fine. I'm going to slide my stop up here to break even or one tick above break even. So if it does come against me, I get one tick and it covers my commissions. Well, I it hit 64, but like I said before, I took this trade. If I get into a trade after, um, I'm up two points now. I slid it up to one point, so worst case scenario, I'm up three, three, three and a tick for today. Um, so, but if it breaks through the 64, I'm going to move my st my stop up to uh, reserve at least one more point. So worst case scenario, two points on this trade. We're looking through that push through 64. If it breaks through 64, um, you know we'll get another couple points out of this trade. Uh, if it hits six points for me, so if it hits, you know, 66, 50, right here, or 60, 66, 50, then I'll just scale out for a total of six points on this trade. So we have just waiting for this to break, which, you know, looks like it will. Yep, just did. So, uh... We'll slide up. I'm going to put my sell out here. Slide my stop up to two points. Worst case scenario, we get two points out of this trade. Um, got it. We just made, um, just made six points on that one trade with one contract um so i'm up i'm up eight eight point two five points today uh with one contract trading five hundred dollars i'm up four hundred and twelve dollars for the day uh can't can't complain about a day like today perfect trading day we had a little bit of sideways consolidation through here uh, there was plenty of trading opportunities. We could have taken a point, point and a half, uh, but you know, we took a point or two points on the first, two points on the first trade. Uh, took a tick on the second trade, and on the third trade is what we we're looking for. Uh, is what I like to do. I could have taken three points on it early, but everything was saying it's going up, so it's not greed. It's just allowing your profits to run. And it hit my target of 60, 66 and a half, two ticks away. And feeling good about today. I'm definitely shutting the room down. There's no need to trade anymore. You know, when you're up 82 and a half percent, how much is enough? So uh, I'm going to shut down my trading for sure and call it a day.